Okay all, it's been a long time. I uh, hyperextended my thumb working on my motorcycle. It was about to tip over and I uh, I grabbed it. It got caught between the clutch lever and the handlebar and it, it I, I thought it went back to my shoulder. Man, it went way back. My thumbs don't bend that far. I got these stumpy hands. Anyhow, um, I really haven't picked up a guitar much in the last couple of months, but I'm going to try to do Althea for you. Um, I could not find my first below CD, and I'm pretty sure that that's that's the uh, album it's on. So I'm going to do the live. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do the live version, but uh, it's off the top of my head. I did listen to the live version before before uh, doing this. So the song's playing D in uh, D flat. Um, I'm tuned down a half a step. I got some dirt going and a wah wah, and uh, it's a Clyde, a Clyde, a full tone Clyde Deluxe. And a um, a little bit of analog delay through a Fender Pro Junior, which I'm going to turn, turn up a little. Let me just give it a little bit here. Hold on a second. See what we can do. All right. See how this works out. I'll play through it. I'll play through it quickly, the main verse, and then I'll break it down for you as usual. And please turn on the annotation because I screw up all the time, and that way you'll be able to. Uh, you be able to read what's going on, okay? You'll be able to you'll be able to fix fix my screw ups. Alrighty. <laughs> Okay, so what we did here, getting a little noise from the uh, wah, but there's nothing I can do about that. Turn the volume down a little. Let me turn the wah off so you can get a clear example of what I'm doing here. So it's F sharp, I mean uh, D flat, I'm sorry, D flat. string on the uh, ninth fret and E string on the tenth fret, a uh, little trill there, a little hammer, while holding the D string. And that's throughout the whole song pretty much. It's just a simple G, uh, uh, E chord. to do it with your first finger rather than go it's easier to just do the whole thing with your first finger so flat. Whoops, one more time. Then we go to this. It's, um, the, it's the D string on the um, ninth fret and the B string on the ninth fret, okay? But you gotta add a little. Gotta hit them too little with the wah wah. Then, uh, I, I did that two different ways. D flat, single D flat note on the E string. And it's, which would 
be an E note. It's the G, uh, the D and the G string. Same there, F sharp. I'm, I'm sorry, uh, geez, I can't, I can't think today. Uh, uh, A flat. pretty much the whole song except for the solos one part at the end we're playing it in the key of B flat so you always if you want to know how to play the, that uh, the diminished chord if you take a, a major scale I mean a blue scale and it's you know one four one three one three one three blah 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 always so wherever you wind up with your uh, your your little finger that's where your that's where your middle finger goes. Am I correct about that? No, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. It's, it's one fret higher. I'm, that, that was a mistake, I'm sorry. One fret higher. So if we're playing in um, D flat, you just take this one down here as the F sharp. I believe. Yeah, and then that's where you start your. That's where your F sharp would be here on the thirteenth fret, with the E string as the the low E string as a root. That's where your middle finger, your first finger here, and your I'm sorry, middle finger here, third finger here, first finger here. That is a uh, that that's a uh, a diminished chord. So it's, That covers it for you. If it, if it doesn't come out all right, I'll do it again. But uh, That's it. All right. Take care. We'll be back, uh, hopefully, back soon with something else. Thumbs feeling pretty good. Take care. Bye-bye.